Uh, first, I would like to thank to the LOC uh, and the OSAID and PEPFAR for arranging all the travel for me to come to this ICAP in Busan. So here, in this presentation, I would like um, to present the new innovative program which is very needed in the next step of the HIV prevention, especially for men who have sex with men and uh, transgender people. Or in Indonesia, uh, we call them waria. They call them waria. So, uh, in other, uh, in our, in my presentation, I will call waria, not transgender people. So here's the background. I don't want to show you too many data, but this is the background. How is the situation, the latest situation in Indonesia? Uh, in the last IBBS in 2007, we saw that the uh, HIV prevalence among MS, uh, Waria is very high. It's increasing, and it's very worrying. Uh, for MSM, it's in 2007, it's about 5%. It's increased compared with uh, five years before, about 2.4 percent, um, and STI prevalence among this population is also uh, uh, alarming. So, if you see, if we see the prevalence trend among almost whole MARP in Indonesia, it's increasing. Except this year, uh, I heard that the IDU is now starting to decline, uh, but MSM seems in 2011 will be doubled. Once again, it's alarm us. The challenge is, there are programs existing, but it could only reach openly gay men and transgender. So almost all the project support by the main donors in Indonesia now only reach openly gay men and trans and waria. And the coverage of the program remains very low compared with estimated population of men who have sex with men. The program was not effectively reach out hidden gay men or other MSM. In this term, we also put a, uh, a bisexual men or men who do sex with another man but not identify as a gay man. Uh, for example, the Waria's uh, partners. A negative interpretation from society to men who have sex with men put the situation in the worst condition. So if you see, this is how we, uh, the comparison of the program coverage and the estimated uh, population. So it's very, very low. It's less than 10%. With the worst situation, we encourage the National Edge Commission to give more support and we sit together for consulting the specific strategic plan for MSM and WARIA in Indonesia. So actually in the third strategy of the National AIDS Strategy and Action Plan 2010-2014, we saw that the MSM and WARIA is already there in the third strategy. Develop comprehensive program to respond to HIV and AIDS among MSM and WARIA. And based on the recommendation to strengthen HIV and AIDS response among MSM and WARIA, we had been decided to uh, make a specific main strategies on HIV and AIDS response for MSM and WARIA. Number one is increasing program management, involvement, ownership, and program contextuality for MSM and WARIA. The second one is developing structural intervention to create social environment, which is support MSM and WARIA program. And the third is upscaling communication program coverage and effectivity to prevent new HIV um, an infection among men with sex with men and waria. The fourth is increasing the provision of high quality, friendly and accessible sexual health services. And the fifth is increasing the provision of high quality, friendly and accessible care, support and treatment services related to the positive prevention program for men with sex with men and waria positive. So we will talk about uh, how to upscaling communication program coverage and the effectivity. Then we share our role. 
So the community now actively involved in build partnership with our professional communication expert, who is also part of men who have sex with men community. And then we start to facing all challenges and make it become opportunities. And then we strengthen our partnership with the National Coordination Body, National Arts Commission, and also donor. In this part is OSAID. And the fun began. Here's the critical situation of MSM in Indonesia or maybe in other countries. We're losing five big things, fundamental of a human being. Lose or less self-pride lose or less self-esteem, lose or less self-efficacy, lose or less self-determination, and also we lose or less respect for others. MSM and Waria always relate to disease and sin and many negative images. And the fact that the whole IEC material use disease-based approach and not never brought positive message. We can see here, if we talk about gay, always associated with the bad perception. Party, hedonism, gay equal free sex, drugs, lifestyle, not exist, taboo thing to talk about. Equal with HIV, is a face, is a sin, is a disease, is a parasite, is a trend. And the bad thing, gay equal with hell. Can you imagine that? So I think gay is happy. <laughs> it's the fact. <laughs> yeah, gay is happy, colorful, rainbow. <laughs> it's the fact how gay really relate to the very negative images. But we have to move on. By taking changes and opportunities from the inside and situation and use them as a vehicle even for facing the key issues. But yet, still look at the situation around us because uh, uh, homosexuality is still become a very sensitive uh, issue among uh, a society in Indonesia. And we have to still keep it smooth and gently, but yet smart. So here's the strategy. We have to do a greater involvement of gay men, waria and other men who are sex with men in all steps of the new communication strategy making process from need assessment, need analysis, drafting the product, distributing, using and giving back an input. This is the result from the need assessment. We have done some FGDs with Waria, 